El Cab, Egypt. June 2017. A team of researchers from Yale University and the Royal Museums of Art and History in Brussels make an historic find. While exploring this ancient city, they discover a number of rock art carvings, which after closer examination, date back an estimated 5,200 years, making them the oldest monumental Egyptian hieroglyphs ever discovered. Using combinations of various shapes and symbols, including representations of humans and animals, hieroglyphics is regarded as a highly sophisticated writing system where every symbol and combination of symbols has a specific meaning. When we look at the, the hieroglyphs of ancient Egypt, they seem to have come from nowhere. No one knows where they came from. No one knows who they really were designed for or for their purpose. They just appeared out of nowhere. So where did these come from? Were they sort of uh, just divinely inspired? Or was there some other reason? Or was there some gods that emerged and arrived and presented them with this information? The term hieroglyphics literally means holy writing. And ancient Egyptian texts say it was a gift given to them from the god Thoth. There are legends from all over the world that uh, sky gods have come down to Earth and given information of science and learning and also communication and of language to people. And early language and alphabets are these symbols. We're here in Luxor Temple and the hieroglyphs here are so interesting. Most people would think that ancient Egyptian hieroglyphs is more like emojis and, and symbols where the sun and, and the cow would meet the sky and this picture of the sky. It's not pictures next to each other. It's a proper language. It's a language that has such precision that people from all over the world can translate it with the same exact meaning. All this language was from the god of knowledge. That's what ancient Egyptian believed. The god Toth gave them the language with all it has. And the kings then used it to also communicate with their gods. Ancient Egyptian kings knew for a fact that their gods understood hieroglyphs. As described in the pyramid texts, ancient Egyptian religious texts that date back more than 4,000 years, a meteoric iron object called the Benben Stone was reported as having descended from the heavens like a firebird. Even Egyptologists agree that this type of a shape descended from the sky and made a controlled landing. The Benben Stone opened and people walked out, the first creator gods. Now, when I hear a story like this, I wonder if this thing may have been some type of a craft because it is very reminiscent of the top module of an Apollo rocket. The Benben came with hieroglyphic inscriptions on it and it was the first form of hieroglyphic language, the gift from the gods. This was the language of the gods. Did an otherworldly spacecraft bring the language of hieroglyphics to the people of ancient Egypt thousands of years ago? And if so, could there be a connection between hieroglyphs and the various individual figures of animals, shapes, and symbols found in the world's petroglyphs and geoglyphs? It would seem that these petroglyphs and geoglyphs are ultimately part of this universal language that's it's a forerunner of hieroglyphic and pictographic languages too, uh, like the Chinese, for example. When we're really able to understand these geoglyphs and petroglyphs, we may find that there is a message for us that we have been missing all this time. One day, hopefully, we will find that knowledge and know that message.